My daughter Brittany was born four months premature under emergency circumstances. She weighed only one pound, five ounces. Brittany's lungs were underdeveloped, so she was placed on a ventilator to keep her alive. She also needed the highest level of oxygen in order to survive. The oxygen requirements soon robbed her of her sight, and experimental surgery to correct her blindness was unsuccessful. After spending six months in the hospital, Brittany finally came home. We learned immediately that she enjoyed listening to music, especially children's songs. During her first five years of life, however, she showed very slow progression compared to other children her age. Most concerning was that she wouldn't talk. Then, at age six, Brittany was diagnosed with autism and mental disabilities in addition to being blind. Brittany had many wonderful life experiences while she was growing up, but it was music that brought forth a form of vocal communication we weren't expecting. Brittany suddenly wanted to sing. That wasn't her only musical interest, though. Soon after, a small toy piano became her favorite instrument, and it was at school by her music teacher she was taught how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But it was a changing day in her life when she surprised everyone by playing Schubert's Ave Maria, a classical piece she'd heard only three days prior and had not been taught how to play. It was quickly found out that Brittany could play any song she'd ever heard, numbering into the thousands. New songs she heard on the radio were memorized almost instantly, and it was absolutely amazing to learn that even entire scores of music, such as Phantom of the Opera, could be memorized and performed in just four days. As Brittany grew up, word about her talent began to spread in our hometown. She started formal piano instruction at age 10 with a professor of music at our local university. Within three months' time, Dr. Price helped Brittany realize that she could compose her own music instead of just playing songs she heard from other artists. Her music was recorded on a piano our community gave to her, and so, despite her inability to talk to us, Brittany's original compositions became her new voice. I'm a mom. Brittany is my daughter. We hear stories that you almost have to see for yourself to believe, and the one coming up happens to be one of them. A parent's love, some say, can work miracles. Well, the parents you're about to meet never gave up, even when miracles seemed in short supply. Now, our first guest, Brittany, was born, and you got to get this, was born blind, autistic, mentally disabled, but hasn't stopped her from becoming a virtuoso pianist. Please welcome Brittany's mom, Tammy, to the show. Welcome Tammy on. Mayer, mother, speaker, and founder of the Brittany Mayer and Friends Foundation, has devoted her life to bringing about a positive and historic change for people with disabilities. Mother of Brittany Mayer, who is blind, severely autistic, and mentally disabled, Tammy nourished her daughter's desire to become a stage performer and has proudly seen Brittany emerge as one of the most gifted savant pianists in the world. At what point did someone tell you that she was a prodigious savant? Through their journey, Tammy discovered that our nation has a serious calling for music schools catering to people with disabilities. Well, a one-of-a-kind music school is opening in Suffolk County, inspired by a one-of-a-kind musician. What we're looking to provide is a first in our country. I really do believe it's something special for her. I just don't know how to tap into it when I can't speak to her. That's what we're here for, then. That's good. Okay. <laughs> this prompted her to start the Brittany Mayer and Friends Foundation to provide these vital facilities and services to those in need. In addition to running the Brittany Mayer Music and Art Center, Tammy partners with Brittany on stage, where the unique duo give hope and inspiration as they entertain audiences around the world. They also donate a percentage of their profits back to various charities, including their own nonprofit organization. To further enrich the lives of others, Tammy offers instructional workshops that share her personal life philosophies, encourage a positive attitude to achieve success and overcome obstacles, and help participants to acquire peace within themselves. How has Brittany changed your life? She's made my life. I, I don't see a change, I just see that that was life. That's what was intended, that's what's supposed to be. It's been a, 
It's been a fabulous life. For more information about the Brittany Mayer and Friends Foundation, please visit our website at brittanyandfriendsfoundation.org.